resources, inspiring interviews, business practices, and practical advice to take your art career to the next level. Join Sergio Gomez in today's Artist Next Level and get ready to take control of your career. Well, hello, my Next Level friend. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Artist Next Level podcast. This is a special edition episode in which I am interviewing artists from around the world as they are stuck at home during the coronavirus lockdown. Today, I have the pleasure to be here with Lawrence DeBalmi from Philadelphia. We're going to talk about virtual studio visits as an alternative to in-person events. Well, hi, Lawrence. Good to see you. How are you? Fine. How are you? I am good. I'm very excited to actually have you right here in front of me because we have been in touch on and off through social media. Yes. Messenger. You have also been a guest to my podcast. Indeed. So I feel like I already know you very well, although we have never actually met in person until now. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so it's great to have you here. And uh, one of the reasons that uh, you know, I'm really super excited about this conversation uh, because I follow you on Instagram course and I follow what you do um, and love your work by the way Thank which you. we're going to talk a little bit about and show some of it as we have this conversation here on the screen but uh, this idea of uh, for you just as many artists as we're going through this lockdown and pandemic uh, many shows were canceled mm -hmm. many residency programs many pretty much in-person events were just either canceled or postponed for later so as artists and galleries, museums, everybody's trying to find new ways, alternative ideas to still be active, to still uh, engage the audience and the public, but in a virtual way, right? In a virtual space. And exactly. I saw you uh, the other day as I was going through my Instagram that you had a virtual studio event. And that's why I contacted you and said, Lawrence, I'm super excited. I couldn't go because I had something already scheduled that day, but uh, I really wanted to go and check it out. So I said, why don't you come over uh, here with our friends at Breakfast with Sergio, the special edition, and share a little bit about that because I think probably other artists will also might get inspired by this and do their own thing. And actually, you inspired me <laughs> because of what you saw. Uh, I saw you did. And uh, I'm also now doing, uh, with the artists in my gallery, we're, we are doing a, a kind of a series of uh, virtual studio business where we're inviting the collectors and some other supporters to come in for a private virtual event. So that's the plan, uh, Lawrence. Yeah, well, I'm very happy to uh, share about it. I'm very flattered to uh, inspire you. Usually it's the other way around, so that's great. And um, yeah, what happened is we had uh, a show scheduled for the Affordable Art Fair in New York end of March, and of course it was canceled. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, planning on uh, presenting new paintings uh, with... Um, um, my gallery, Can Gallery, and uh, it uh, happened um, that I had been in touch with a, a lady called Alexandra Harper, uh, who has a community of art lovers and who we are supposed to do an event at the Affordable Art Fair in person, okay. uh, which of course got cancelled too. So um, with Alexandra, um, who has this uh, community called Women of Culture, uh, we uh, came up with the idea of uh, doing a virtual studio visit. Um, and uh, we, it took place last Saturday and it was the first time for me. <laughs> that is fabulous. So uh, tell me a little bit about the process. You know, how, how was it done? Was it... Uh through Zoom, was it through some other, you know? Yes, so it was through the Zoom indeed. Um, Alexandra uh, of Women of Culture uh, took care of organizing it, um, inviting the people, and uh, I, w I wasn't really sure, you know, what to expect since it was the first time, uh, but it went really well, it was nice, uh, we chatted for an hour and a half, so it was wow. longer than uh, expected because there was interaction, which was great. And there were about 20 people, which I was uh, really uh, uh, impressed because um, I wasn't really sure, you know, if who would be um, available and interested and in showing up. So it's always, you know, nice to learn and um, see how it goes. That's fabulous. So once you had the... Um events started what were you able to see the the like faces of other people yes. or they were 
mute, you know, how did you actually? Yeah, so what we did is we did a, a little intro of everybody. Uh, some, uh, a few people I already knew, but most of them uh, I had never uh, met. So it was nice. There were people from LA, Canada, New York. So it's very uh, di diverse and um, it was fun to uh, meet the people. Some were following me on Instagram, but I had never really been in touch with them more than, you know, just a post. So it was uh, nice to see them face to face. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's very exciting. Were you able to like walk around your studio with the camera or you had it fixed? I'm just kind of like picking. Yeah. So what I did is I used my computer a little bit like we are talking today. And then at one point I took my computer and got it closer to uh, the paintings. Um, what I did also beforehand is I set up my studio a little bit nicer than usual. <laughs> and uh, like I put painting on the walls, which I do not usually uh, do. Uh, I set it up a little bit like a mini gallery for the occasion. Um, but I mean, it was really very smooth. I, I just wanted to keep it uh, as it is um, almost uh, usually. And uh, we had a conversation where I introduced my work and then answered the questions about it. Oh, that's fabulous. I think, you know, this is a great idea because as many artists are watching right now, this might step spark you know, some interest and like, oh, maybe this is something I could do. You know, yeah. even if your studio is somewhere else, you know, if you have a couple of walls or a corner in the house uh, that it, you can take whatever you have and then just kind of do a, a um, pop-up show in a way, yeah. right in your own space and set up that corner. And then, you know, you can either ask people to sign up for it or if you are up to, you can also do it just as a live feed, which I've seen artists yeah. also do. You're like, just go live and boom. Um, but you can invite people, let people know you're going to do this. And uh, so it could be done either way if you want it yes. more of a private or, or more of a uh, open. Yeah, I think um, there are many ways of doing it. And uh, I think it's a good time to experience. Right now, people are at home. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the people I've been in touch with uh, would probably not have been able to attend the affordable art fair. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a way of reaching out to some people who, I mean, not everybody lives in New York and not everybody has the time to attend the fair. So um, I, I think I will uh, try to do it again uh, more regularly. Um, maybe on the shorter version, this this one was a bit longer, but it's uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it gave me new ideas. That's fabulous. <laughs> That's exciting. Now, tell us a little bit about uh, your work, uh, Lauren. Mm -hmm. I, I know so I revisit technology and Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I revisit art history through imaginary Instagram posts. Mm -hmm. So behind me, there is uh, one by Lee Krasner. And uh, this is uh, in uh, my new series of work, which was focused on the women abstract expressionist artists. Um, so I share the stories behind the art. So this particular painting, uh, the state of mind of the artist and the interaction with her friends and um, her network. Mm, absolutely and they are paintings correct they're not they are. Actually paintings. they are paintings so how many posts have you created <laughs> so i have about 150 something like this um, wow wow mm -hmm. so if, uh you know that's that's pretty much an instagram account right there <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it is yeah no, I, I, sorry i'm lucky to have uh uh, many uh, art, I mean, uh, collectors who've been interested in my work. So um, it kept, it keeps me busy for sure. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, your work, because it's a reference to technology and reference to social media itself, which we have to right now realize how that is helping us to stay together and stay in touch with each other, right? Yes. Where before it's like, well, yeah, it's social media and it's there and we all use it. Uh, and so on, but now has become such a primary element in which we connect with our friends, with our families, with others that we want to interact with. And uh, so your work is already about that sphere. Yeah, have I was you had thinking some thoughts about this as you as we go through. Well, I was thinking that when I created it, it was uh, what if Instagram had always existed, and now it's like what if Instagram was the only way to share art. <laughs> um, so I hope it's not because, of course, art in real person is always a better experience. But it's true that on the same uh, at the same time, 
uh, most of the art we have access to is often through screen because um, who has you know the chance to be able to travel the world right. and the time to see all these uh, great exhibitions well just a few uh, lucky uh, people so right. Even us who are uh, working in this uh, field, we, we cannot see everything. There is so much. So we often see exhibitions through screen. Uh, so it's true that uh, it becomes the way to consume art. Right, absolutely. I totally agree, totally agree, very exciting. So Lawrence, as we kind of uh, start to wrap things up for, the, yes. for this little conversation, um, I haven't asked you, how are the things over in your city in Philadelphia? How long have you guys been in lockdown? Uh, so um, it's been since March 13 and uh, you know I cannot really tell because I stay home so <laughs> I cannot really judge from my uh, point of view but I, I from my neighborhood I think people are really uh, doing it uh, and staying home. Fabulous. Well Lawrence where can our friends find you on Instagram where can they see your work? And also, I want to, uh, before you share that, I want to invite our friends to check out, I'll, I'll put a link on the episode to our longer conversation that we had on uh, the podcast specifically about your work. So I yes. think that they will find that interesting. But uh, where can the friends find you? Uh, on the Lawrence Deval Me uh, on Instagram and on my website, um, usually uh, just my name, Lawrence Deval Me. Excellent. Well, Lawrence, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been thank such you for having me. And I look forward to uh, visiting your artist uh, studios. That would be great. That would be awesome. All right. <laughs> thank bye you so bye. much. Goodbye, our friends. Please share this episode with your friends. It will make Lawrence and I super happy. Have a good day. Goodbye. Check out our website at www.theartistnextlevel.com where you will find our podcast library, learn about our upcoming webinars, find resources relevant to your career, and much more. Thanks for listening to today's podcast, and we'll see you at the next level.